for fire and jul, where our spieleman for two. Hello and welcome to Off the Shelf Reviews. It's your hosts Ian. Hello. And Gary. And today we're joined by Big Ed. Hey. To review 2010 movie Troll Hunter, which is a Norwegian production made for a rough budget of around three million and is one of those sort of false uh, mockumentaries, if you will. It's sort of um, in the same vein as its predecessors, which I would say is the most successful being The Blair Witch Project, mm. which of course would lead into Cloverfield, and you also have George A. Romero's Diary of the Dead, and if you want to take it back even further, which you probably shouldn't, you can have Cannibal Holocaust, which is what I would consider one of the most extremely horrific found footage movies ever made. Troll Hunter came out in 2010, and it was almost at the height of these um, these sort of movies. And of course, we'd already had like three or four paranormal activity films at this point. Mm. And at the point that this film came out, I was pretty much sick and tired of this formula. However, just watched it, and Ian, why don't you give us the synopsis for it? Uh, well, the story follows uh, a group of college students who are um, filming a documentary about uh, bear hunting in Norway. Um, they uh, interview a few bear hunters, and they are told about a guy who's possibly a poacher. They find this guy and start to follow him, but realize that he's actually hunting something more dangerous than bears. Yeah, and I... Uh found found this film on the internet it was a big internet hype when i first watched this well i've heard about this film and i was frantically searching for this film because i saw the effects from it from like trailers and stuff mm. and i was blown away by the special effects from this film it was jaw dropping and i always it had like a different intake for me like you always had um you know, like your lichens your werewolves your vampires and all these type of mythical beings and it, for me it just felt about about time that we had a film to do with trolls or to do something about that mm. and I was expecting this film to come from the American like market and to see this film come from Norway was a like a big shock to me but they, they nailed it because it is just a flawless jaw-dropping <laughs> CGI amazing fest like I just absolutely love the effects from this film <laughs> It's interesting you should say that because before Troll Hunter actually uh, finished production or was about to, to be released, um, an American company actually picked up the rights to make a reboot or a remake of this mm. film almost oh, nice. straight away, yeah, which nice. isn't really surprising. And thank Christ we haven't actually seen that yet because you don't need to because Troll Hunter is fantastic. It it plays with the mythology of trolls very well because yeah. we've seen trolls in other movies before. And they're just kind of like, you know, that you just see them, they're scratching their asses or picking their noses or yeah. they're just kind of like stupid and you're not really afraid of them. Whereas Troll Hunter plays with that Norwegian mythology of um, that they can smell the blood of Christians, Christians yeah. or the blood of an Englishman, if yeah. you will. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and they play around with it fantastically well. And what's great about the film is it does spend the sort of first 20 minutes building up that, are we going to see the troll? Is yeah. it going to be like that shit fest movie Monster, where you don't actually get to see the monsters until the closing of the movie? No. We get to see the trolls up close and in person and in detail in this movie. I love I love the, the perfect balance in this film. A lot of found footage films you do have, you just... I mean, take Paranormal paranormal Activity 1. You follow those people and you only get a few snippets here and there chucked in every now and again to scare you. Troll Hunter, it's you follow the students, then you meet Hans, then you see your first fucking troll and you're like, shit. And then you have another little dialogue piece where you get more details and the backing of trolls and the history and the folklore. Then you get another troll attack. Then you get the, the, the students are getting a bit more scared now, but they want to get their footage out so that the people can see this kind of stuff. And then you get another troll and you're just like, <laughs> fucking hell yeah. It's, it's perfectly balanced. You don't get too many. I mean, the trolls are CGI. We will say, you know, they're put in post-production and you can kind of tell that they're not really there but without a massive budget you know you're not 
you would you would still see the 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 background you know the the fact that the trolls aren't really there but it's so well balanced that you know the the students are are very human like much like the guys from uh um Blair Witch project where you back them up you know you're you're scared yeah. that something bad's going to happen to the the students in troll hunter but you're happy because Hans is there and he's a fucking badass <laughs> som har skjedd, som hans mener kan uh, faktisk være trollrelatert. Oi, Oi sjekk her da, kom. Fikk med deg utover jorda. I really love the character of Hans. Uh, when the students first come to his sort of caravan mm. yeah. and they they sort of like look at the car and they can see all the claw marks they look and at all him the through damage. the window at first and they're like what's all this hair what's all it looks really weird all and these furry things yeah. hanging from the ceiling yeah and then they don't know yet what's about to hit them like yeah oh. they, they they come up to hands and they're just like well you can see that the 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 lead who's who's doing the story yeah. is just like really nervously approaches him yeah he's just like oh you know we want to we want to follow you. We want to sort of tell your story. And he's just like, go away. You don't want anything to do with you. You don't want to follow me. Yeah. And so he's, he's pushes them away to begin with, but the students sort of follow him around. And so obviously as an audience member watching this found footage, yeah. uh, you're kind of like, you're kind of intrigued too, because the film really gently brings you into its universe. And once the kids are out there and obviously it gets to that classic moment. <laughs> Once that moment has happened, uh, he's just he decides that he's sick and tired of the thankless job that he has. Yeah, secrecy and, and all that involved as well, like being exactly. treated, being like the, treated lowly, for, the late for, hours, like, the big job, and what was it the responsibility that he has, like and. That's what I really like about this film. Before you actually actually meet the trolls and the and the points between the trolls, it's the mystery of wanting to see the trolls next, like, and it's the build up and Hans's character. I feel for me actually enhances that mystery and that that intriguingness to yeah. actually go out and keep watching and be like, oh, I can't wait to see this next troll. And when they're actually in the hunt for the next trolls as well, when you know they're waiting in the fields and you can just hear it in the background, like, and you hear it or like see the flashes from the UAV lights yeah. it just you just builds anticipation so much and by the time you do see it you're just like whoa like oh my god and that's another thing I wanted to write, to write. it's like um, it's always every time you see a troll it's at night time and the effects from it, it, it for me it looks really believable like yeah, the trolls I completely look agree. really believable like you feel like they're there like and these trolls are real they look like mystical creatures. They yeah, really they, do. yeah, yeah. They, they, they were, they were breathtaking to watch. They, you really have to see it to believe how well they fit the scenery that they're yeah. in. For the budget as well, like that's that's another thing, isn't it? Like the budget and for what they look like, for, for the the achievement that they've done, it's definitely a landmark. I love the done. I love the mix of present day and and folklore. Mm -hmm. You know the fact that that hands. You know he'll 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 block off areas with those little signs saying blasting, which obviously people would see and immediately turn away. But obviously he's on the other side fighting a fucking troll. You know I I love the fact that you've got the the governmental guy who comes up and does all the the bear prints and gets the dead bears to try and protect <laughs> the the farmers from the truth that's going on. You know the technology that Hans has got. They look like guns, but they're just fucking giant poles with UV lamps. Yeah, I think one of, of my it. favorite explanations is all the power lines that you oh, see everywhere. Yeah, the power lines yeah. and the truth is that these power lines are actually like a security grid yeah, that's just there to fence. contain the trolls. And he's just like questioning this guy. He's like, do you not realize that these power cables just go round in one big circle and they don't lead anywhere? <laughs> and the guy's like, well, the electricity's kind of got like the scenic view. <laughs> it's <just> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> that's, the, that's it. That's the, that's the beauty of this film is that you know, you you can sit there and pretend that they're mythical creatures, and if you if you don't like fantasy and stuff like that, then you might be turned away. But it's the fact that it's set in present day, and you've got all this present day technology—the cameras, the lights, the cars, all this stuff—and actually, it means bullshit when a troll comes along, <laughs> because the troll will just oh, fucking please. annihilate it. I'm being like total rock. See here, Thomas. I mean, it's like that that scene on the bridge where he's in the armor and the troll just goes whack, <laughs> and sends him flying. You're like, oh, 
It's yeah. like a rag doll. <laughs> yeah. like, it hits the ground like a sack of shit. Like, yeah. It really does. It's just I mean, like to be like liquidated yeah. inside that armor. See, see, one one of the things I've, I've got to express is that if you're going to watch this film, you have to watch it in the Norwegian uh, language. Definitely. You know, you because it just gives it so much more. Uh, the fantasy element behind it of this foreign language and you just you just listen to them just coerce to each other so easily about the the the, the trolls and the technology and the government and all this stuff that but, watching it with english dub no, would... i would also say because i've actually watched the film twice now and i've watched it with the dub and with the original language yeah and if you're someone who's not um, particularly keen on watching a subtitled movie i will say that the dubbed version is actually it, uh, being dubbed is does is not detrimental to the film whatsoever. It's still actually very enjoyable, yeah. and it's not very often I will say that. But the dubbing work for this film was fantastic. Hmm. So uh, I I I understand that argument. Yeah. But for this film, it it does actually work. It's just a film, though. The film is just still fucking amazing. <laughs> Maybe that was why. <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't know. <laughs> I think it was like there was another scene in that film. Um, it's just, just I just keep referring back to the 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 budget and the uh, the effects from the film. It just it just blows my mind every time I watch it. It's just I think about was it District Nine because um, they had quite a relatively small budget for for what they had. I think it was like twelve ten million. Yeah. And yeah. the effects that they pulled off from was it from a reasonable small budget. It's it's just mind blowing. And coming from you know Norway, you just wouldn't expect it. You've uh, you wouldn't expect such a good film coming out of Norway, to be honest with you. <laughs> I just, you wouldn't have thought, you wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought of it. It's just such a great film to watch. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, the, the film is just so balanced well with with believable acting and believable special effects. It just rolls into one big fucking mm. extravaganza, which you have to see. I think you question yourself if it is actually real. I think I question myself, because like, it is a mockumentary. I, I'm not mm. stupid, I do get it. Yeah. But I did watch it, I'm thinking... It looks scarily real. Yeah, like, it, def- it definitely does. Like, especially like like I said, like the night scenes when the trolls. I think like the the night just adds to the effect of the realism of the trolls. Yeah, like, especially that that cave the cave sequence, oh. where where they enter into the cave and then the trolls come back. Oh, yeah. oh, and yeah. and the trolls are getting ready to go to sleep, and they start to settle down and fighting. And, 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 <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that typical the, troll. Oh, the, and the, the people are just right stuck in there, and they're just you know. You, you're 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 scared for them because if the trolls fucking hear them or or, or smell them, they're just gonna go fucking ape shit. And there's like fucking six of them, <laughs> six trolls in this cave, and I'm like, run. run. <laughs> so one of the things I like most about the film is the way that it it has um, sort of a very thin narrative that's running through it, other than Hans wanting to tell his story. Um, just so that the truth can be out there. Mm. Uh, it's the fact that he keeps ringing up like a vet- veterinarian is just yeah. like, what's happening? And you sort of get clues and hints that something within the troll community is not right. Yeah. And so he's sort of investigating to find out why these trolls are breaching sort of their territorial lines yeah. because something must have stirred them up. And so he's then told, you need to get a blood sample. <laughs> from a control <laughs> and so you just see this massive massive fucking syringe <laughs> and you're just like how is this gonna work like and just that alone it just keeps you invested mm. into the film because you just want to see how exactly he's gonna get a blood sample from one of those fuck off trolls <laughs> and the film sort of keeps that sort of story development going yeah where yeah it actually builds up and you're looking at the books and looking at what's happened in the history of uh, all of these other troll hunters and sort of leads to the film's climax where when they're looking in the book and they see an illustration of a troll that's yeah. the size of a mountain. The John R. Exactly. And they're just like, is this thing real? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> see that Jotnar in the in the distance you're just like oh it's fake and then you just see it coming up close you're like 
Holy fucking shit! Yeah. You know, not only that, <laughs> it, 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 it's 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 congratulations to the people who designed it and had it on screen because once you see this fucking giant troll moving it takes me back to jurassic park mm -hmm. oh you yeah, know definitely. the first time you see the dinosaurs in that or the t-rex chasing you it's that that's the kind of feeling you get because you see this giant fucking troll and you're like i do don't want to be here <laughs> but you're in the camera watching it step over you and you're like oh <laughs> that's what made me want to watch the film originally because in the trailer you just see like a foot go past the car like slam and all the cars like shaking around and you just see this giant hand come in and just hit the car and obviously it just cuts off yeah and i was like oh my shit <laughs> I, need, I need to see this so bad and it was and then seeing it and seeing that thing shout and come out from the distance roaring you're just like oh my god sick <laughs> like, it's amazing but there's another part of this film that i do like it's the comical factor it does have real comical moments it's yeah. a bit when um, the the bear attacks well the bear attacks get more more infrequent and um they get like bear paws mm. and and what was it i think the the cameraman uh, uh questioned them about it gets in his car and see that there are no more questions <laughs> so it's good, good good comical factors along with the seriousness of the trolls as well I and mean, it's it's a good good mix between the two yeah, yeah. so what is your favorite scene from the movie uh, there's m many multiple scenes for me like um i think i think the first troll is my favorite scene and obviously when they act when they accidentally kill it they turn it to stone it comes out and they're all running through the forest and obviously the the iconic moment of troll <laughs> <laughs> that's just epic and when they obviously comes to the car and then obviously switches on the uav lights and you just see the whole thing just crumple up into the stone statue mm. and that that scene there was epic and you just see him afterwards it's like looking around it and i just thought that was brilliant brilliantly done like and it's just set, set the tone for the film really good <laughs> I think uh, I think anyone's favourite scenes from this movie are going to involve the trolls. Definitely. So my favourite scene involves the troll that's under the bridge. <laughs> it is for me the most iconic of all the folklore stories of the three Billy Goats gruff yeah. on the bridge. And so when he's there and he wants to lure out the bridge and he just brings on a single goat onto the bridge and then they're waiting, and then he brings out another goat, <laughs> and then he brings out another goat. And you're just like, oh come on, overkill. <laughs> And then, of course, the troll turns up underneath the bridge. And I just love that scene where you see the hand yeah. just reaching up to try and feel mm. whoever is walking across the bridge. Fantastic. Absolutely memorable. See, see my, my favorite scenes, apart from the troll scenes, which I do think are a bit few and far between, but when they do come, they are really fucking brilliantly done. My, my favorite scenes are any of the scenes with Hans. He just, he just brings more detail to his character and what his character is up to with all these trolls. And there's a particular scene where they're sat in like a, a restaurant and he's having his breakfast and they're filming him and he's just doing his paperwork. And they have the, they have these pieces of paper describing of where they found the troll and what it was doing, what it looked like and all this. And it's just that extra detail into the film that just fucking makes it even more brilliant. I really recommend Troll Hunter. Mm. If you've kind of like I was and just dismissed it with the with the current trend of found footage movies that have kind of saturated uh, cinemas the last sort of seven eight years, mm. go back and give it a chance because you will be as pleasantly surprised as I was. It is a really engrossing movie. It sort of it for me is one of the peak found footage movies. I yeah. don't think. I mean, the formula was has been tried and tested, and so many of them have turned out awful. Mm -hmm. This one here nails it right with its subject matter, the material, the acting, the music, mm -hmm. the set pieces. The film flows brilliantly. It is absolutely memorable, and I highly recommend that you do watch Troll Hunter. Mm. I, I highly recommend this film as well. Like I said, I highly recommend watching it in the in the original Norwegian because it just it just emphasizes the mythology behind it and just. just Brilliant acting, great special effects, and it is a found footage film, but it's one of the better found footage films. I totally recommend this film, 10 out of 10. Go and watch it. I mean, 
it's going to amaze you. It's going to have, it's going to spark imagination in your head of all these trolls. I mean, I can't, I can't recommend this film anymore. If you need to go see what watch this film, if you haven't seen this film, go see this film. Seriously, I mean, I can't. <laughs> I, that's the only thing I can say because it's just a jaw dropping, amazing spectacle to watch. I mean, go see it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching off the shelf reviews. What's that? <laughs> <laughs>